Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Now you can clearly see from my face, I'm super happy about this video. Partly because it involves lip shades. And second and foremost, it consists of this, metallic lips. Today we're going to be reviewing the NYX Cosmic Metals. And this is how one bottle looks like. Now I got 6 out of the 7 shades at Hermo. They retail for about 38 ringgit each, which is pretty affordable. On my lips right now, I'm wearing a mixture of two. So here we have Electromagnetic, which is kind of like a teal blue-green. Really, really beautiful to put on the outer corner of the lips. And then and over here, we have a green shade called Out of This World. So this is a mixture of these two. And to enhance it, I put in a dab of gold glitter just to make the center of the lips plump up just a little bit more. I am going to be swatching all six shades for you, the ones that I have with me. Clearly, you can see how these two shades pan out. But let me tell you guys that layering them on too thick tends to get the lips a little bit cakey and a bit chipped. So a thin layer would do. And if you want to mix the colors, do it evenly and the result will turn out beautifully. Hopefully my lips don't feel weird after this. I'm gonna have to use like a massive scrub and scrub all of this off but um, nonetheless it's gonna be worth it because we're gonna see all the shades and I'm gonna try my very best to apply the lip shades evenly so you guys can see it all in its full glory. So in the meantime let's get down to it. Alright, so obviously I had to bring the camera closer so all of you can see the colors. And the first one that we are going to be swatching on the lips is called Speed of Light. It looks like a very nice bronzy shade. If you pair it up with like a dark lip liner, this is going to be amazing. Now the next shade that we have here is called Fusion Fusia and it's a bright neon pink. Ooh. This is pretty. You know what guys, I wasn't sure about this color but when I put it on, I absolutely loved it. It's a pearlized pink. It's not too neon so it's pretty much wearable. So yep, this is the one in Fusion Fusia. Now the next one up is called Astride Aura and it's this purple shade right here. And the pigmentation goes on really nicely as well. It's clearly not as opaque as the previous colors that I've tried on but it suits really really well to this tone. So this next one up is called Celestial Star and it's a blue color shade. This one is a little bit more sheer. I'm not sure if you guys can see but the consistency is spreading to be a bit thin across the lips. Once I even it out, you see that it's not applying as evenly as the other shades. I have to dip my applicator in for a second time and kind of go over the first layer. Okay, so I do wish the color would spread a little bit more evenly like how the others did. But nonetheless, the color here is beautiful. I love this. Okay, so my lips are feeling a little bit... <laughs> was for wear but no worries we only have two more colors to go down and these are the green shades and this one is called out of this world earlier i did mention i mixed this color together with electromagnetic and it became this beautiful combination of teal and green i like the consistency of this one even as you spread it out the consistency does not stretch so that is really really something noteworthy on this part all right you guys we have the last shade and here is electromagnetic the consistency is the the exact same like the previous color I just put on. It does not thin out when you spread it out and the shade remains pretty even. Now I'm pretty sure all of you know that I am always up for crazy colors and this particular galactic one is amazing. Consistency remains the same even when you spread it out. It's super rich, super opaque, super easy to put on and it glides on like a dream. So all in all, yep, that is all six shades swatched. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. And in terms of the results of the consistency, well, there is a slight balance of, you know, some of them are sheer, some of them are opaque. But on overall, I really like the texture. It's not sticky and they intermix really well in terms of colors. So you can always do a color mix with them. I'm really happy with these shades. Now, clearly not every one of these are wearable outside but if you are looking to create makeup looks with them then this is such a beautiful item to have in your bag anyway you guys i hope you all like this review if you have any questions for me you can also leave them down in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe and i will see you in my next video a silicone base which is quite all right i guess but i realized that the formulation of the lipstick has completely changed